GPD is a great place to learn about architectural developments and trends, ones that may just be coming to your project soon. I'm Ellen Rogers and welcome to our June newscast, coming to you from GPD 2015. Let's get started with a look at structural glass. Today we spoke with John Knowles from Stutsky Engineering who presented on structural glass fins. We did a, a study with uh, Karari on um, laminated glass fins um, and to show the advantages, the strength advantages over using different inner layers in a, in a glass fin. Yeah, they, they seem to be asking if the, uh, the engineering formulas that are used and published in uh, standards and codes, um, they're um, wondering if they're accurate, and if, they're, if it comes close to reality, and um, the study hopefully uh, clarifies that a little bit. Half the people attending GPD are here for the first time, including John, and he told us he's been impressed with all this event has had to offer. Great, yeah, uh, excellent business contacts, um, great people, uh, a lot of knowledge here to share. It's a, it's a great experience, yeah. GPD presentations cover a range of topics. Some are very technical, while others are more design focused. Christoph Tim with SOM presented on two projects with which his firm has been involved, including one World Trade Center. So the presentation I gave was uh, about two projects, was about Tower One and of course that is in everyone's uh, interest to learn about this project. And so specifically I was asked to talk about this project, the history of the project and the meaning of it. So uh, besides that of course there was, um, it's just the challenges of doing a super tall that's interesting to, to talk about. Uh, the other case study I gave was about a residential tower, high-rise tower in Manhattan, 252 East 57th Street, which utilizes a lot of uh, hot bent glass, which is another topic, of course, in the industry that is uh, uh, of, of uh, huge interest to a lot of people. How to use hot bent glass uh, in a, for a developer project in a, in a cost-effective way, and that, again, of course, is, uh, is of interest because they're finding solutions that are working on, on various levels for the architect, for the developer, Attendees have had nothing but good things to say about GPD. From the sessions to the networking events, everyone agrees. GPD is an essential event for the glass industry. We definitely support the GPD event and we try to attend any year that it's happening. Um, as a representation of over 7,000 contractors in North America, they implement the new technologies that are being developed in the United States. However, we're seeing technologies that are emerging overseas that maybe aren't being implemented for a few years. They want to see some adaptations or some implementations overseas before it gets adopted in the U.S. What we really take from this event and we value the most is the ability to close that gap a bit, maybe take a few years and um, bring it to light. Instead of 10 years out, maybe it's one or two years out. Yeah, so construction is actually a, a, a global market, but it's remained pretty much local. So the good things about a conference like GPD, you have consultants, architects, manufacturers, mostly doing glo uh, global businesses, but uh, they can discuss about different local, regional requirements. And yeah, the trend is still towards high-performance buildings. I think it's a little bit more holistic than only uh, saving energy. It's about the climate impacts, but also uh, considering the uh, health and wealth and well-being of the of the occupants. So. I really like this conference because it's small. You've got between 500 and 1,000 people that show up, which means as you walk around here, you can find somebody one time, you can see them again, you can catch up with them, you can talk to them. Larger conferences that I go to, you get lost. There's thousands of people. You, you never see one person, much less see them again. Um, it's very directed to the glass. Um, business and it's international and I work internationally so that's really great for me because I get to meet all the architects internationally as well as the glazing fabricators, manufacturers, owners and builders even. What I find is that the technical content is very rich and I think as we continue to strive for higher and higher performance and that's everything from energy efficiency to structure to you know any number of performance you know, requirements, I find that the depth of knowledge and the talent that comes here is like nothing I have found anywhere else. There's a lot of ways to describe GPD, but if you had to do it in just one or two words, what would that be? Here's a few ideas. Massive. GPD spirit. Beneficial. Networking and technology. It's a learning experience. Glass delicious. Networking. Great. It's kind of technical research and also networking. Challenging. 
It's like a fair for the for the users. Discussion. Design and performance and uh, and, and people network. Awesome. <laughs> And that brings us to the farewell party. Guests are enjoying amazing scenery, delicious food, and some unique entertainment. We'll leave you here with a few scenes from this one-of-a-kind event. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ellen Rogers. Mm -hmm.